Hello sisters, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Sacred Sisterhood Podcast. Today is March 31st, 2020, and I believe we are on day 14 of the quarantine here in Salzburg amongst pretty much the rest of the world is following suit, doing the same thing. Some are a bit longer in quarantine, others only about a week in. What interesting times we are in, aren't we? Hmm. We are in it. The birth of new earth that we have been talking about for A hot minute? Well, it is upon us, folks. (laughs) It is upon us. There is not going to be a going back to normal because normal wasn't working. We are going to be a very different society coming out of this than who we were going in, and that's for the better. I'm not here to downplay the severity of the situation. Yes, there is a virus. Yes, there are people that are sick. Yes, there are our frontline medical staff that do not have proper PPE to deal with what they're dealing with. There are, yes, there are people that are dying. But there are many layers of consciousness that are at play here. When you look at the third dimensional perspective, Okay, so that's where, you know, we're seeing a virus that has moved throughout the planet. People are told to stay indoors. They're told to stay within their own families, not to be, you know, with other people. That's what we're seeing on a surface surface level. We are seeing people that are working at front lines as far as in the medical, medical profession out in the grocery shops as post office um, carriers and so forth, truck drivers, etc., 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 who we are, are all very, very grateful for as a society for doing what they're doing right now. On the fourth dimensional frequency, what we are seeing is this is where, you know, you have your conspiracy theories or conspiracy facts, as I call them. (laughs) And, you know, there's just all of these theories and thoughts and ideas of what's happening. Um, I really urge you, obviously, if you're listening to this podcast, you are open-minded. I urge you to do your own research in alternative forms of media as to to develop your own thoughts and opinion about what's happening beyond the illusion that we are being drip fed through the mainstream media. My own research this past three weeks, I have uncovered a lot of disturbing things, um, disturbing truths, things that I knew were always there, but never really dove that deep into really learning about. And... I just really want to encourage you to look beyond what we're seeing on our TVs and social medias and just do your research. Um, There are theories that, and this is a theory that resonates true in my heart, that beyond this dark force kind of control that's being placed on on the earth, you know, the mass media manipulation and fear, propaganda, etc., 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 Behind that, there's also an elite Illuminati takedown taking place, and that rings true in in my heart that that is what's happening, but I also know that on the fifth dimensional and above consciousness levels, we are ushering in new earth, that these systems that have been built on separation and greed, enslavement, poverty, scarcity that were created by these dark forces that I just mentioned, those systems cannot energetically sustain in the golden age that we are ushering in right now. We are moving into the age of Aquarius. So we are moving from an earth element symbol to an air element symbol. So we're moving from material to advanced technologies to galactic 
to easy galactic channels of being able to talk to our galactic guides and um, the entire all of Earth knowing that about the about the galactic forces, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we know because Earth has been, I mean, I've been talking about this for the last year on this podcast about the increase in the Schumann resonance of, Mirth, of Mother Earth's heartbeat, the increase in these light codes that are coming down, the increase in the solar storms and solar flares that are activating our DNA from carbon-based DNA to crystalline DNA that are activating our 12 strands of DNA, you know, like... Right now, humanity only has two strands of DNA that they're using out of 12. The rest of them, the other 10, have been deemed as junk DNA as a way to keep us from, you know, really investigating what those other DNA codes would bring us. You know, but why? it always made me wonder, like, why would we have 10 strands of junk DNA? Like, why were we given those DNA strands if we aren't going to use them? Obviously, it's because... Um, we are actually supposed to use them. It's just we have been living in such a dense earthly plane, so vibrationally dense with the wars and the poverty and the fear, all of it, that it has kept us from fully being able to access those other strands of DNA. So for many light workers and healers who have been doing this work, who have been doing, you know, clearing out their fear programming, clearing out their limiting beliefs, clearing out traumas, doing ancestral clearing, uh, calling in more light into their body, etc., etc. Their vibration has increased so much that a lot of them, a lot of light workers, have accessed their third and fourth strand of DNA, which is why, you know, we're able to access our Claire audience and our Claire um, being able to, you know, see auras and colors and being able to see beyond the veil, being able to see spirits and uh, being able to easily contact our galactic teams and receive messages and guidance and so forth. So on a fifth dimensional and above consciousness looking what's happening here around us, we are seeing the collapse of those old systems that have kept people sick and enslaved, that have been putting you know horrible things into our food and into our air to keep our DNA from activating. That's all crumbling. <laughs> it's all going away. And it's all crumbling away to make way for, for the new. Systems that are actually put in place for the highest good of humanity. Systems that are put in place for world peace. Systems that are put in place to clean up our oceans. Systems that are put in place to eradicate poverty. To make sure that there's clean drinking water for all of humanity in abundance. And I think it's really beautiful, you know, when you step outside of what we're seeing on the third and the fourth dimension, we are we are anchoring in heaven on earth right now. Even though it doesn't look like it, <laughs> that is what we're doing. We are anchoring, anchoring in basically the Garden of Eden grid. And we are already seeing earth replenish and rejuvenate herself so quickly. And so even though when you look around us, there's, you know, you see the fear in people's eyes, you see people feeling traumatized, you see the stress, you do see that. But when we wade through, when we move through this panic and the chaos, etc., people are going to come out of this very differently. They're going to come out of this with their hearts open. Humanity is given an opportunity to, to reset, to build systems that are actually in harmony with Mother Earth so that we can actually sustain here on Earth. So we can live in right relationship with each other and with Mother Earth. Because, like I said, there is not going to be a going back to normal because normal wasn't working. Normal was unsustainable. Normal was keeping people sick so stressed out, not even breathing, right? So, and I do recognize, you know, for the, for the moms that are now having to homeschool and as well as do their work from home, et cetera, et cetera, some people are not given this opportunity to breathe and make music and, you know, read, et cetera. And I am very aware of those people and I send light and I send love to them 
I send them a breath of air. And so it's important for those of us that have been given this chance to slow down, that we become very, very aware of the energy that we are putting out there. And that we are the pillars of light and peace, anchoring these extra light codes that have been coming down, these gamma rays that are coming down from our galactic teams, from the cosmos. It's very important that we are the pillars, the antennas that are anchoring anchoring those codes down into earth, down into humanity. Because there are still some people, obviously, if you're working on the front lines or if you're now a 24 hours, 24 seven, 24 seven mom and at home business worker, et cetera, et cetera, having to homeschool a handful of kids. And you know, like I get it. Um, you're not going to be able to really, you're not going to be given that, that time of self care, which my heart goes out to them. So for those of us that do have that opportunity to take a breath and chill, it's very important that we be the pillars anchoring in these light codes to assist with the shift into the fifth dimension and above, to assist with laying down the grid work of the new earth template, to assist with the restoration of the Garden of Eden. Okay, and if you, if your beliefs align with mine, which my belief is that the Illuminati cabal is being taken down in this in the background. Um, it's very important that we be holding our peace and our love and our light to assist light forces to take down, to, to put these dark forces in their place, basically, so that light forces are now in control of the earth rather than dark forces. And... Um, yeah, just by us staying in a place of love and acceptance, it supports that. Because we know that what we see reflected outside around us is like the last point of manifestation, that last piece of the puzzle to click in. And so it's already been done in other dimensions. The light has already won in other dimensions. We're just now seeing like the download happen. And so it's important that um, we hold space for people that are stressed out, that are freaked out, and we just be that energy of peace to help anchor them, to help them through this. And so this might look like making sure that you're checking in with your friends and your family regularly, checking in with your neighbor, offering support, offering a, you know, letting, any, letting them know that they can call you at any time and just listen to them. Just listen to them. And you don't have to shift what their perspective is, etc. It's not yours to hold everybody else's different layers of consciousness and awareness. But just hold space for them. Okay. So this is a perfect time for those of you who are aspiring light workers, who, you know, you you know that one day you want to be a healer or a light worker. You know you have gifts, but You've been giving your time away to a nine to five because you had bills to pay. Well, more than likely your nine to five is shut down right now, right? So you're probably given two to six weeks, however long this quarantine goes on. I'm feeling that probably things are going to start to begin to open up uh, layer by layer. Probably end of April is kind of what I'm feeling into. So you're, you're probably given two to six weeks off from work here. You're probably going to be getting some form of employment insurance, etc. This is your opportunity, my love. Your opportunity to practice, to anchor in the reality of what it will be like when you are a full-time healer, fully supporting yourself with your business. Okay, so now is the time to master your craft, to study, to practice, to learn, to be giving free sessions to people that are on the front lines, you know, your medical staff, your post office workers, your people working at the grocery stores, uh, truck drivers, etc., bankers, etc., etc. 
offering your services for free for them to assist them with everything that they're dealing with, as well as to help you master your craft. Now is a great time to figure out that routine flow of what it feels like to have your entire morning to yourself, to journal, to read, to meditate, to do your yin yoga or your kundalini yoga, to have a make a green juice. I don't know about you, but I completely cut celery juicing <laughs> the last three weeks. Um, I can't find celery anywhere, and I'm just... I'm not, I've, I'm just not playing that celery dance here while we're going through quarantine because when everything's functioning normal, it's hard to find celery in this country. (laughs) Um, but yeah, like taking that time to make yourself that green juice or the smoothie and then having your afternoon for, for doing your service work. And so right now, if you feel like, if you're feeling that call, which if you're listening to this, you are. Even if you don't know what your gifts and what your future healing business is supposed to look like right now, that's okay. Right now is your opportunity to practice your light work by just holding your light, by being a pillar of light and peace in this time. When you walk through the shop and you're holding that that pillar, that frequency, it shifts and it activates those around you, even without you having to talk to them, just by them being in your auric field, which I mean, your, your field, like it's something like nine feet radius around you. Okay. So it stretches a very big distance, (laughs) very big distance. It's not great vocabulary, but whatever. Um, it's quite a large distance area that your actual energy takes up. So as you're walking through the the shops and, you know, if you're walking down the street and you're keeping your social distancing, but that person that walks past you that's two meters away from you, she's getting activated by your frequency and the codes that you carry. So now is a perfect time for you to become the master of your energy field, of your mindset, because yes, It is perfectly normal for you to be feeling fear right now. We all have had to go through our kind of ups and downs of maneuvering through this fear. It's important, though, that you find a way to transmute that fear into love and to soften and surrender into peace, knowing that there's something really beautiful happening here knowing that everything is actually in divine timing and divine alignment. And the divine mother and divine father God, they have a plan and it's being, it's unfolding in front of us. And you are part of that. And we don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. We don't know what tonight's going to look like. There could be a new announcement day by day. Like it literally is day by day, which is giving us the opportunity be, to be so present within ourselves and our experience. So, I'm going to give you like a little tool that you can use if you do notice fear coming up. I want you to breathe into that. Put your hand over whatever part of your body that you notice that tension. And just breathe and sit with it. And don't judge it, but just look at it, observe it, sit with it, ask where it's coming from. Okay, so I started to worry about my family members who aren't working right now that are feeling really scared and uncertain and not understanding what's going on. I started to feel worry for them. Okay, become very loving and aware of that. And then you can begin to shift this. Okay, well, you know you know, like maybe this is what is going to wake them up and help them become aware. Maybe this is going to help them, you know, choose healthier choices, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I know that as I expand my business and my relationship with infinite abundance and infinite prosperity, et cetera, et cetera, that I will be able to send them money if they need it and so forth and so forth. And I know that their president or their prime minister is rolling out packages to assist them because they're not the only one that's experiencing job loss right now, blah, 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 blah. I know that poverty and scarcity consciousness is actually in an inverted matrix that is collapsing right now. And I know by 
them recognizing their own sovereign power and their own ability to tune into wealth, wealth and prosperity consciousness that their fears can just, just fall off right like that. And I recognize that I have been holding on to some scarcity and poverty consciousness. And so I'm going to send my love to those places. And I ask my higher self to clear, cleanse, dismiss, dismantle them now and activate the wealth and prosperity codes in me now and to activate my sober and power grid now. And just seeing love being sent to your family members way and seeing love being sent into that part of you that was feeling fear and just talking yourself through it. So you went into the fear, okay, that's where it bubbled up from. Observe it, love it, and choose a different idea. But it's not like you were spiritual bypassing and not allowing yourself to feel it. No, you moved into it. It also helps if you if you move the energy. So say you you feel fear in your stomach and maybe it looks like this black ball. Shift that black ball, spiral it. Begin to spiral it so fast that it turns to a different color. And then pull it out of your body so you're holding it. And then see a stream of white light pouring in front of you from source consciousness and you hand it over and you surrender this over. And then that same light fills that part of you where that black ball of fear was. That's neuro-linguistic programming. Very, very powerful. Okay, so every time that we move into different fears and stuff that we're experiencing right now, we are transmuting that for the collective and we're sending love back out into the grid rather than sending more fear out there, right? Or just, you know, when you feel fear coming up, this is not mine. I send this back to, I send this to source. I send it, I ask source to shift this into love. Thank you and so it is. And so it is, and so it is. Breath work is a very powerful thing right now, which you can just go on YouTube and look at the different um, kinds of breath work. Breath work helps to move stuck fear out of your body. It helps to shift your vibration so that your body can flush out any sort of stagnant energies, which let's be real here. There's a lot going on that we're processing. If you would have told us a month ago that this was the situation that we, we would be in, we'd be like, what? What are you talking about? There's no way. There's been a lot to process. So also give yourself some compassion. Give yourself some compassion if you're feeling blue. All right? Like, you do not need to be putting expectations on yourself to be a certain way or feel a certain way right now. The way that you're feeling right now is perfect. It is exactly where you need to be right now. Yes, to becoming energetic masters, but we also, part of being an energetic master is allowing yourself to be in the heavier energies. You know, myself, I've been up and down every day. It's like a wave, an ebb and a flow, a waxing and a waning of a moon in a sense where I could wake up feeling super heavy, but by the end of the day, I'm feeling super blissful and giggly. And it, could, and it could shift back and forth throughout the day with the waves of energy that we are moving through. There's a lot of energy and the, it's very thick. The energy of the collective is very thick. But I also want to remind you that that's not yours to carry. So put your 12D shield of light up. Be in constant communion with your higher self and your guides and your team to breathe love in, to breathe compassion in, to be that pillar of peace, to see, project peace out to those around you, to see a beautiful blanket of love wrapping around earth as she's healing and wrapping around humanity as humanity is healing. Humanity is going through a massive shadow work stage right now, right? Like right now, earth is doing her shadow work, which we all know is a big part of healing is moving through our shadows. And just like when we are doing shadow work within our own lives, it can feel messy and painful and sometimes it doesn't feel like we're going anywhere and it's just like feels like we're spinning out. But then all of a sudden we get this like frequency blast that elevates us to the next level and it's like, oh, and our baggage has unpacked and cleared off and fallen off and whatever we're working through has transmuted and we're now expanded our home frequency to something higher and we, oh, have that breath of fresh air. And it's like, ah, that's right. That's right. 
It's very easy when we feel heavy to think that we're out of alignment, to think that we're doing something wrong. But we have to move through it and feel it to clear it, right? This is what Earth and humanity is going through. We're going through a shadow purging right now. Obviously, what was working wasn't working anymore. And if you're with me with the fall of the cabal and, like, you know, the conspiracy theory slash conspiracy fact thing, there's massive arrests taking place of those big, dark, th those people um, operating in false power and greed and manipulation. Those people are being arrested right now. That is part of purging the shadow. No longer giving power to the shadow. Right? So, just be gentle with yourself right now, okay? Just be gentle. We uh, have been integrating some pretty major heart, third eye, and crown activations. And I also want to say that uh, corona in Latin is crown. And this is a pretty big up level in us really claiming our sovereign power, putting on our sovereign crown. Is us no longer giving power away to a system outside of us and rather recognizing that we are our own true source. And relying within on ourselves within our relationship to God, to source, to Sophia. Right? And trusting that we are on God's payroll. Trusting that we're always connected to the golden abundance grid that surrounds us. That no economic downturn can affect the money that we make and can affect the joy that we have, etc. That's you standing in your sovereign power. So we really are being called as a collective to recognize our sovereign power. Now is also a very powerful time for us to really be practicing being grounded and feeling safe in our body. This is something that I was working on pretty deeply in January, which is funny now because I see why. <laughs> Everything's for a reason, right? All the ebbs and flows of our journey always in the, is in alignment with where, what we need to shift at that time to prepare us for what's to come. In January, I was very, very deep in doing root chakra work. February was very deep. Even in the beginning of March, I was very deep in womb, womb, the sacral chakra work. I really needed to go deeper in my lower three chakras to help myself feel safe to be in my body. Now I feel very, very grounded, which is good that I did that work to prepare for this time. So it's very easy for us to want to just shoot up and, you know, kind of let connect to the galactics, which is awesome. It's very easy to connect these days. It's every day is like a lucid, almost psychedelic trip. <laughs> but it's very important that we be in our bodies and remind ourselves that it's safe for us to be in our physical experience. And I want to remind you that by you believing that you are unavailable for sickness, and you staying in a place of love that is incredibly powerful for your immune system and your ability to not be affected by this virus that's out there. Which, once again, I just want to remind you to do your research in alternative media because the virus that is out there is not as... It is not hitting countries the way that the media has been portraying it to be. So just keep that in mind. Now is a really great time for you to be making dance and body work part of your day to day so that you can help feel safe in your body, to feel safe in your physical experience, to really ground yourself into the physical. I've been upping my dance practice. Otherwise, things can start to feel a little bit too heavy. And so by me dancing, it brings that that joy into my body. And any sort of like when you're doing those upper chakra work, you know, when you're in your meditation and you're feeling light and floaty and airy, etc. Before you bring yourself back into your body, call that energy down into your root chakra. Bring it down, ground it down. 
it's very easy for light workers to be like all up in our higher chakras and not in our lower chakras. So really bring that energy down. As well as my final piece that I wanted to give to you, ladies, especially for those of you that are beginning to step out to the front lines as a light worker or your know that you're being called towards doing that. You just don't quite know what your future business is going to look like. Now is a perfect time to spend really spend a lot of time in deep states of meditation to cultivate the avatar of your higher version of yourself that is already doing that thing that you want to be doing. That is already operating a successful healing business that gets to have her mornings and evenings and self-care and her afternoons to work seeing yourself um, speaking with confidence and clarity and seeing yourself, you know, working from home and seeing yourself, you know, being able to afford the organic foods and go on nice vacations and see yourself working with soulmate clients and seeing an infinite amount of clients flooding in all the time. So like I had said earlier, this is a very, very powerful time with the energies that are coming down to really play with these different energies that are available. And so by going into deep states of meditation to really craft that avatar of who you are growing into, it aligns your subconscious mind to create that. And it allows you to really activate your self-belief and confidence with yourself as a Star seed that is on a mission that is here on earth serving as a light worker. I have to apologize. My my dog is giving a few whines in the background. Um, I think she thinks it's dinner time, even though she already ate. <laughs> um, yeah, and just really like try to disconnect yourself from screens, from the collective consciousness, and really just be in these energies and receive. Because I mean, like, as soon as I close my eyes, I'm shamanic journeying. It's been very incredible, like lucid and magical, you know, um, being in bed with my partner all of a sudden just opens up different realms, you know, like closing my eyes and seeing a sun setting into the ocean and then us becoming the ocean, becoming the tide going in and out and then having these stars shooting past us and these liquid, liquid, like moon dust, flying past us. It was surreal. It was very surreal. And if you look up in the sky and you look at the sky, you can see like rainbows in the sky and you can see like codes and energies coming down. Some people are saying they're seeing a lot more sacred geometry. You know, being out in nature, you can feel the pulse of the trees so much clearer. Everything's coming through so much clearer. That's because we're shifting dimensions. We we are accessing totally different realms, totally different frequencies, a new band with the frequency we are operating in. This is an incredible, incredible time for humanity. So you can choose to look at your layers of consciousness. 3D, we got a virus. 4D, okay, we got like a dark takeover slash dark takedown. <laughs> Do your research. <laughs> Develop your own thoughts and opinions. And 5D and above, we are anchoring in new earth right now. We are the mamas of new earth. We are birthing a whole new paradigm. And we all have a role to play in that. There are those of us that are going to be developing new technologies ocean like different different machines to clean up the oceans and different projects to plant trees and you know there's going to be those of us that are healers that are activators that are quantum alchemists that are coaches that are akashic record readers that are massage therapists acupuncturists chiropractors kinesiologists the, you know, doctors that are starting to work more with herbs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We all play a role. Being a mother, creating children that are awake and aware, that are open, that's a full-time role right there. We all play 
an incredible role right now. And two, I have a friend who's, I think her due date is in two days. Casey, if you're listening to this, I love you. For those of you that are bringing babies into this world right now, your babies hold very, very powerful codes for New Earth. And it is destiny that they are coming out into this world at this time. Whew. I'm getting, I'm getting, mm, getting goosebumps, goosebumps just thinking about it. We all have codes within us that all click together to create this new template. What is it that we want to bring into new earth? So I'm going to leave it at that. Share this with a sister, share this with a friend. I'm sending you all so much love. And hey, I just want to let you know, I am currently creating a Starseed Activation Bundle, which is just going to be a little small package that's going to consist of meditations and prayers to assist you in really um, stepping into your power with what it is that you're here to do on planet Earth at this time. So if you're interested, you can shoot me a message on Facebook or send me an email to let me know that you want to be on the list to notify for when that activation bundle comes out. I'm hoping within the next week or two. And just soften and surrender one day at a time. Be present. Be with your emotions as they're coming up and really master your energy field right now. Master your craft, study, invest in courses, utilize this time, and I'm sending you so much love. Chat soon.